What's up? It's Kikin with Kay. So glad you joined me once again. And today I'm going to give you my honest reviews on Disney Plus. So on my Instagram, if you don't follow me, it's at Kikin It with K13. Uh, please go follow me on there. I do my little polls on there sometimes. And I asked you if y'all wanted to see a review of what I thought of Disney Plus because I put it up there. I'm a huge Disney fan, love Disney. And so there, everyone said yes. Uh, I had a couple people say no, but the poll one saying yes. So I thought I'd show you what my thoughts are on Disney Plus. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to put up here. Let me scoot over. I'm gonna put up a, a screen. It kind of shows you what Disney Plus looks like. Um, I'm really, I really like it, honestly. Uh, how it's set up and stuff. Um, really easy to find things. So as you first, you it's an app on my phone. You can do it on your TV, or your, not TV, your uh, computer too. But I put it up the app, and it really shows you like the originals, the recommended for you, because I've already started watching some of these series and TV shows. Um, and yeah, it just kind of shows you a little bit of what is on the Disney Plus. So there are 500 listings of movies, series, TV shows, everything you possibly want. Um, me and Jarek, which I've talked about before, is my boyfriend, we went through it and we're like, oh my goodness, I could not believe some of these movies that were on there, because they're from, like, our era and when we grew up and stuff like that. So, um, you can also look at different, so you can search it, and you can go, like, through the decades, and through the decades actually kind of goes through, like, all the way from 1920s to, of course, 2010, which we're at now. It's great, because some of these movies I've never seen, but I'd love to see the old Mickey Mouse movies. Love Mickey Mouse, so i love to see that. That is really cool. And then they have the Disney Channel original movies. So, I mean, we have, like, High School Musical, the Lizzie McGuire movie. Uh, we have Freaky Friday. Love Freaky Friday. And, yeah, they even have stuff for, like, the kids nowadays that watch stuff because I know my stepkids they are really into watching like The Lion Guard and oh my goodness Descendants uh, a bunch of those are on there so it's kind of cool that it goes from of course like our viewpoint like as millennials back to where that is and where we liked them but it also has like newer stuff for the kids now um, of course, they have all the princess movies. We love that. Um, so we got Frozen, Moana, Tangled, Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella. Yes, I love them all. I'm so happy. We also have like, just like Disney Channel. So we have like Lizzie McGuire, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Uh, oh, so many. I can't remember. Phineas and Ferb. I'm watching Kim Possible a whole bunch on this. Kim Possible was my favorite show back in the day, so I definitely have been watching Kim Possible. Uh, they do have all the Marvels. Uh, my sister was really excited about this, and so they do have all the Marvel movies, even the cartoon versions. So my sister says she's been watching those because that's really what she's into, uh, and really likes those. That'd actually really be good for like if you have like a son, or of course like. Back in the old days, that was, like, a thing. Like, I bet you my boyfriend, Jarek, would love some stuff like this. So, <laughs> we have Toy Story. So, we have all the little Toy Story movies. Even the ones with little Forky in them from Toy Story 4. Hopefully, I'm not ruining it for you. Hopefully, you've seen Toy Story 4. We have all the Cars movies. Because they came out with so many different little Tomator uh, cartoons. So, that was handy right there, too. And then, of course, they have the Animal and Nature so I know that they have animal and nature documentaries, so those are all on there. Um, I don't watch them personally, but I think it's cool that it's on there that other people can watch them. So my overall thoughts. So another thing I forgot to tell you, you can have profiles for every person. So it's really simple. You just make a new person, and I think you can have up to eight profiles on one. So that is amazing, and we love that. So... Yeah, I have mine as little Mickey Mouse, and I don't know what my mom's going to do because she 
wanted to do it. I want to see the new Lady and the Tramp movie. Have not seen it yet, even though I've had Disney Plus since the day it came out. But I haven't seen it yet. I'd like to do it with the whole family. So I'll let you know my thoughts on that as well. Probably on Instagram, because that's kind of where I show you like what my thoughts are. Um, I usually post like in my Instagram stories about what my thoughts are on that. But I really do want to watch Lady and Tramp. But to give you my overall opinion on Disney Plus, I think it is amazing. I think that it's definitely going to be something that is really going to hit off with a bang. Uh, I think, what was it I was reading? There was like 10 million subscriptions the very first day it hit. Uh, it does not shock me at all. Uh, I think it's really cool that Disney's putting all of their movies in one place. Because I know sometimes it's hard to go and get the movies in time or go see them in theaters or anything like that. Um, I'm super excited to see kind of what more they put on there. I wonder if they're going to start putting, like, all the movies. So, like, Frozen 2 is about to come out on Friday because I'm recording this on a Saturday. So, November 16th. So, um, sorry, got lost track. I saw a text message. Uh, November 16th, this is when I'm recording this, and I know that Frozen 2 comes out November 22nd, so I'm curious if that will go up on Disney Plus when it's ready. Now, I will say it is, I only did the first version of it, one of them was just the Disney Plus, and then the other one was like ESPN, Disney Plus, Hulu, but I'm not really worried about that. I don't really watch Hulu very much, that's just my opinion, um, so it's either Netflix or YouTube and now, of course, Disney Plus. So I really didn't care to watch ESPN or care. So it's six ninety nine dollars a month. So it's really not that bad. I mean, that's actually cheaper than my Netflix account. <laughs> so I think it's really well. I think that if you really like Disney movies and you would really enjoy to watch them all the time, Disney Plus is definitely where it's at. I have been enjoying it a whole bunch. Like, as soon as I get off, I'm going to watch more Kim Possible uh, because I just love that movie, that show so much. So, hopefully y'all enjoyed this. If y'all do get Disney Plus, let me know what your thoughts are on it. If you like it, if there's something you'd want to change, let me know. I'm just curious what everyone else's thoughts are on Disney Plus. Please like this video, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more content. And I post every Monday. That's my new upload schedule. As of right now, that's just what I can handle is one video a week. So it's every Monday. So hopefully y'all can stick around and I'll see you next time. Bye!